Hey guys, my name is Mark Gallo with Pioneer. We're here at the NAMM Show 2016 and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of our Nexus 2 system. We'll start here with our CDJ. We'll start here with our four, four hot cue buttons as opposed to three on our previous models. We now have two banks of four. So we have a total of eight hot cues that you can color coordinate in record box. The way you record them is actually different now as well. We'll delete these. Uh, you can just one touch record, one touch playback. One touch record, one touch playback. And to delete, to delete, hold that button and tap it. So that you don't have to enter and exit out of record mode. We added a slip, rev uh, slip reverse knob, which is a momentary uh, switch, as opposed to our regular reverse, which will lock you in reverse mode. This is a momentary slip reverse. Just hold it and let it go. We're going to move up here to our full color 7 inch touch screen which is, uh, you can actually, th this is our new phase meter here. So you can toggle back and forth from our old phase meter to our new phase meter. We have a one beat jump button, so it allows you to jump forward or backward. One beat, you can enter loop mode here, which lets you quickly enter and exit loops and change the size of them. In slip mode, this actually acts as a loop roll. So you can do cool little stutter effects. Our little shortcut button here, which I like to call the magic button, brings you to this screen here, which lets you access a lot of the cool new features. Again, you can toggle back and forth between our old and new phase meter. Here you can adjust your hot cue auto load settings. You can also now adjust your quantized beat value. Before it was a st uh, steady one beat, and now you can actually adjust it from one beat to a quarter beat, or I'm sorry, one beat, half beat, quarter beat, or eighth beat. You can toggle back and forth between blue and RGB waveforms. We have a full QWERTY keyboard search. One really cool thing for digging deep into your track select, uh, your, your music collection to select a proper track is something we call track filter. This allows you to filter out tracks according to criteria. So here, for example, we're going to engage our filter to show us tracks that are plus or minus, within plus or minus 5% of 125 beats per minute in the key of, let's go with, C or related. Three stars, two stars, four stars, whatever whatever rating you decide to go with. And you can choose like let's say pink, orange, and purple color. Now you can you can tag your tracks accordingly in record box, allowing you to filter down and get really specific. You can actually also access our my tag feature here, which allows you to even further dig through your collection. So you can access uh, components of your tracks like synth, sub bass, dark, you can vocal, piano, anything like that. You can even go by situation, build up, after hours, peak time, warm up tracks, pool party, anything like that, festival set. So you can really dig deep uh, through your collection to find the appropriate track that you're looking for. Um, let's move on to our mixer. You're gonna notice we have two sound cards here for a smooth transition from one DJ to another or perfect for tag team sets or back-to-back -back sets. Moving on down here, we, uh, we brought back our sweep sound color effect and our parameter knob is something new, which now allows you to even further customize those sound color effects. Our sound color effects knobs on each channel are now larger, giving you a much better feel, much better grip for better control. We added a phono input to each channel. So now no matter your configuration of CDJs or uh, line inputs or phono inputs, uh, turntables, you can actually uh, set them up either way, any way you prefer, and have the proper input on each channel. Um, we adjusted our crossover point on our low EQ knob. We brought it lower so when you cut it out, uh, you're cutting less of the mid, less of the mid, so you can really isolate vocals this way. Uh, moving down here, you'll see our beat effects lights. Now what this does is it shows you which, which channel you have selected. It was a little bit more difficult to tell before. You had to look up here in the top right hand corner, but now it's really easy to find out which channel your effects are being routed to. If you want to route your effects to more than one channel, you could just assign them to either of the crossfader channels and then on your beat effects selector, you just choose that crossfader and you can, access, you can affect all of those channels at the same time. One thing you'll notice here in our beat effects section is we added a ping pong effect, which is a ping pong delay. We brought back our pitch effect, added a vinyl break, 
and this really cool helix effect, which you can see James Zabila demonstrate wonderfully uh, in our product launch video on PioneerDJ.com. I wouldn't even do it justice if I tried to, to imitate it. Uh, one really cool feature that we took from our EFX line and our DJM2000 is our effects frequency selector buttons. This enables you to choose which frequencies your beat effects will be assigned to. So for example, if you're using a ping pong delay or a reverb, you probably don't want to affect the low end. So you're just going to deselect the lows and you'll have a really cool sounding effect on just your mids and your highs. Moving on up here, we doubled the size of our X pad, allowing you to eat more easily and accurately jump between timing of your beat effects. And we completely separated the send and return. Um, before, we had a send and return in our beat effects section, meaning you couldn't use both at the same time. You could either use send and return or beat effects. Now you can use both at the same time. And we added an industry first digital send and return in, ad in addition to our traditional quarter inch jack send and returns. What this enables you to do is send and return via this USB to lightning cable and our RMX 1000 app. But you're not just limited to our app, you can use any type of app. Let's say uh, it was a, uh, a guitar pedal app or um, uh, a, a finger drumming application. You can use uh, any, any iOS app that will send audio output through the lightning port as uh, our digital send and return. So, one thing I can't demonstrate for you is the sound quality of this entire system. It uh, inputs and outputs full 96K 24-bit via SPDIF connection. So it's a really warm sounding, uh, warm, full, clear sounding mixer uh, that we really went, uh, went above and beyond for a digital mixer. We really went for that analog type sound and we think that you guys are going to be really impressed with it. Once again, my name is Mark Gallo with Pioneer DJ here at the NAMM 2016 show, and that was our Nexus 2 system.